tractor supply right now to go get the uh, stock tank. Um, I came up with a different design as of this far. I'm just going to be using the one, the one stock tank. Um, they got a couple of different styles of stock tanks um, at Tractor Supply. They have the Rubbermaid stock tanks, and then they have um, another brand. I forget what they are, but I was reading some reviews on some of the stock tanks. Um, updates on the fish room build. I haven't gotten a whole ton of stuff done right now uh, because of the holidays. My niece was just born, so I was spending time with the family. Yeah, I mean, you guys know how the holidays go. It's really windy today. It's hard to keep the truck straight. This thing's like a parachute. So... Uh, things I got done in the in the, uh, in the fish room is not a whole lot. I got the rack system for the water tanks, the 65 gallon and 35 gallon water tank all put together. I got the 65 gallon tank on top and the 35 gallon tank on the bottom. Um, I had to set the RODI system up temporarily. Um, that's why it's just sitting on the racks right now. Uh, because I had to make water, I needed top off water in the worst way. Um, I sold my old RO system and barrel and everything, I think a little too premature before I was ready to uh, set up the new one and I ran out of RO for top off. So I had to just throw the uh, new system online real quick and I just filled up the 65 gallon drum. I installed the uh, automatic float switch or automatic shut off valve or whatever it is that BRS supplies with their units and I use their little buoyancy float valve and that actually works really well I was really skeptical of it at first uh, I don't even know why I was skeptical of it I just was uh, I was gonna actually end up using a uh, regular float switch that was gonna be energizing a coil on a uh, you know like a sprinkler valve or something to shut off my water supply when the uh, tank was full but the uh, the uh, little float valve that BRS supplies works just fine and I have it set right now to where it stops at about 60 gallons of water 60 62 gallons of water so it doesn't fill all the way up to 65 gallons which I'm fine with um, as long as it doesn't overflow I don't care you know if it stops at 60 or 35 that's pretty much all I've got done so far in the fish room and like I said I'm going to get the stock tank right now um, I just got the water tank system set up and it's not even 100% right now um, I got to build uh, a little shelf or rack or whatever I'm going to do for the RO unit itself because I don't want it just sitting on the uh, on the rack. I don't want it. I want it, I want this to end up being a pretty clean build. So right now it's just temporarily through, thrown on there because I needed to make um, RO water badly. So all right. So here's the stock tank. Um, I really took for granted how big it actually is. It doesn't look like it's going to fit the way I was hoping it was going to. Um, I'm getting ready to clean the uh, flood table out. I gotta rinse it out, it's full of dirt. Um, get that cleaned out, kind of shift some things around in here a little bit and uh, we'll start plumbing the stock tank. I'm only gonna have it probably filled to about here, um, maybe halfway full if even that. Um, and then I'm going to get with Chaotic Acrylics and I'm going to see if they can build me a stand for the protein skimmer. And I'll just put the protein skimmer inside of this part of the sump. <clears throat> um, I was going to use a separate 50 gallon stock tank for just the skimmer, but um, I can just put it in here. And then, you know, on one of these sides here, I'm going to have a um, big old thing of Kato, uh, protein skimmer, probably reactors and shit will all dump in here. I'm going to be running the pump external, I think, um, is the plan right now. Um, the stock tank comes with a nice bulkhead. So uh, right now it looks like I'm going to be running an external pump on this. And yeah, so this is going to be the sump. We're going to have Kato in here. The protein skimmer is going to be on a stand. Reactors and whatnot are all going to dump in somewhere in here. Um, I am going to make a show refugium. Um, it's going to be more than likely a 40-gallon breeder. Um, is what I'm thinking of right now. So yeah, the stock tank is definitely a lot bigger than I thought. Um, so it's not going to fit the way I was intending it to. Um, I added some more cross support here to this rack, long ones and the short side, because when I was standing back, <clears throat> looking at the uh, the vertical legs, they were kind of like bowing out with the weight of the water uh, tank on top. So I put those on, and uh, now I'm not I'm not worried about it. 
So, uh, yeah, that's what we got going on now. <sighs> I think that's going to be it for me today. I don't think I'm going to do much. i got to go unpack. That box right there has a whole bunch of reef stuff in it. It has a return pump, a dosing pump, some some media reactors. So all kinds of stuff is in that box. i got to unpack it and see what I have and see what i got to get. So, yeah, here's the stock tank. Very big. It's only 100 gallons, but uh, it's a lot bigger than... Uh, what I had thought it was going to be here. Sorry. I got the uh, skimmer sitting on a five gallon bucket and it's a big skimmer. Um, I think I'm going to make, I'm going to have the uh, stand for it built a little bit taller than what this is right now. Um, just because the pump, it's actually supposed to be an external um, skimmer but I want to put it inside the sump you know like a dry part of the sump that's why I'm gonna raise it in case it leaks it'll just drain into the sump but the pump is an external pump it's not supposed to be submerged so I'm gonna probably make it so the stand is just to the rim of the sump or the uh, stock tank here um, that way the pump will always be out of the water I won't have to worry about that but the skimmer itself will still actually be you know inside the uh, the stock tank so if it leaks then we won't have a problem so yeah but it's a this is a big big skimmer um, it's supposed to be rated up to like 650 gallons or something like that um, it's a reef octopus Diablo 250 EXT um, water gets pumped into it here from a feed line I'm probably gonna run it right off of an overflow or um, off of a return pump manifold um, and then this is how you adjust your water level inside the skimmer and then it just dumps into the sump I got the plumbing for it right here I haven't um, like cut any of the pipe down or anything yet because I don't know exactly where everything's gonna go but you get the idea it's gonna dump into the sump or the stock tank and then um, this little deal here there's supposed to be, it's, it's like a little ball valve, but if I wanted to drain the skimmer, you just open this up and then it drains the skimmer out of this outlet here. Um, and then this is the uh, air for the pump. So this goes into the pump here, and then this is a drain line for the collection cup, and then this is like a secondary drain for the collection cup. So, yeah, uh, there's the skimmer. Alright guys, um, yeah, leave some comments if you want to. If not, we'll see you in the next update. We'll get rolling on this. Here's the uh, tank with all white lights on right now. Um, everything's doing good. Um, running just the LEDs right now. Just the whites are on though right now. I think I already said that. But things are growing like wildfire in here. Things are growing really, really good. That uh, Syriatopora bird's nest in the back there is uh, bouncing back. I almost lost the entire thing uh, because, uh, where are those things? The little mini bristle star worm, or star worms, um, starfish like smothered it. So that's starting to bounce back. Um, everything's just growing really fast. Obviously I just turned the lights on so not everything is opened up at all but this is a good look at uh, all the euphelia when they're not just a massive clump of looking stuff but this stuff grows really good so yeah everything's doing good guys love how everything looks when the lights first come on <laughs> polyp extension for days There's that red dragon, man. That thing's doing good. I'm having issues with the toadstool. Um, pretty sure that I have a predator that's uh, messing around with it, so I'm going to have to uh, dip it. See what's going on there. I see a bunch of stomatella uh, snails on it and a bunch of those Astrina starfish, which I'm thinking the Astrina starfish are my problem. As usual, those things are... If you guys get those in your tanks, man, start killing them. And the rosebub, and some frags, and a nice chunk of hair algae. It's so weird that it grows on that frag plug. 
So, all right, guys. See you later.